What's up everyone, my name is Mike Versperl and for today's video I want to teach you guys how I was able to salvage my time lapse at Boot Arch. Now Boot Arch is a rock formation at Alabama Hills in California and it could get quite busy with night photographers. When I was there it was just myself and another photographer so I decided to start a time lapse of Boot Arch silhouetting against the night sky as the Milky Way started to rise. But about a half hour in other photographers showed up and they were heading towards Boot Arch, which I knew would ruin my time lapse due to their headlamps and any light painting that they were planning on doing. So I grabbed my camera and I continued the time lapse about 30 feet from Boot Arch because I knew I could blend the two scenes together using Premiere Pro or Final Cut. Now in this video, we're going to take the Boot Arch silhouette image and blend it with the time lapse of the night sky using Premiere Pro. So let's open up Premiere and get started. Alright, so we're going to select New Project, and then I'm going to hit OK. Now, if you're not familiar with how to set up your Adobe Premiere, please watch some tutorials on that before watching this video, because I don't get into the whole setup process. It's more just about how I blend my foreground with my time lapse. Now, I'm going to go to File, New Sequence, and I'm just going to pick a 1080p preset that they already have made up for me. But obviously you're going to choose whatever settings work well with your time lapse that you took. Next I'm going to drag my time lapse onto the timeline. And I just want to right click here. Hold on, let me uh, I gotta stretch it out a little bit bigger. There we go. Right click, go to unlink. And I just want to remove the audio since there is no audio because it was a time lapse. And next I want to drag over the foreground and put that in the top layer above the time lapse. We're going to increase the scale just so it fills up the entire frame. And I also just want to raise the height of this a little bit. Next we want to lower the opacity and that way we could see the time lapse beneath it. Now if, when you select the time lapse we're going to adjust the height of that as well and just make sure you don't exceed the foreground horizon um, you know so the horizon of the time lapse is poking through um, you just want to stop short of it now we can select the foreground and raise the opacity back up to 100 percent alright now you want to select the pen tool and we're going to start drawing a mask of the foreground now before we get into that just change mask feather to either 0 or 1 if you leave it on 10, it makes it really soft around that edge. So I like to make it, I like to use one. Now you really want to take your time here and zoom in around 200 to 400%. And you want to get as precise as possible. That way the blend looks a lot more realistic. Now I'm going to actually speed this up. And I'm not going to be too critical with my mask just to save some time. It's just so you kind of get the idea of what to do. All right, so now we want to close the mask and that will reveal the time lapse beneath it. Now, if you screwed up your mask and did the sky and you meant to do the foreground or whatever, just hit invert and that will fix it. And now you're probably asking about the little hole that you have there for boot arch. Now, I tried to do a second mask, but it actually didn't work. So what I'm gonna do is render this out and actually export the video. And then we're gonna bring it back in and we're gonna basically just mask out that little whole section and that will finalize this time lapse. Now you're just gonna choose what export settings work best for your video, so I'm not gonna get into this. Definitely check out other tutorials about that. So I'm just going to speed all this up. Okay, so now I could delete this top layer. And I could drag in the video we just made. And there it is with the Milky Way. And now we just have to mask out that little inner part of Boot Arch. So again, we're going to grab the Pen tool. 
change it to one for the mask feather and I'm going to zoom in here and start tracing away and now I have to invert it as you see that everything disappeared so there we go and there we have it that's how I was able to salvage my Milky Way footage at Boot Arch um, now I know the Milky Way is not in the exact same spot as it should be but I can still sell this on stock agencies or use it for b-roll footage on my YouTube so if you guys ever run into this scenario now you have a way to kinda overcome it alright guys that's it take it easy bye bye